dear friends today i am going to read out a story titled the lion and the man from the smile books of six win one golden collection of character building folk tales the lion and the man starts like this the lion roared and praised in and around but no matter how angry he was the boss of the cage was trapped in where very strong not too long ago this lion ruled the vast stretch of the forest now he was growing old he could not hunt as well as he did that was the reason why when he saw a piece of meat lying unattended instead of realizing that something was wrong he had walked into a trap and had found himself inside a stout cage that was covered with leaves the lion didn't even want to eat the meat now he knew that if the hunters came back there was no way he would ever be free he was tired he was hungry he was really scared the sun had started to dazzle and that was when the lion spotted a man far away he cleared his throat and called out to the man uh, oh man come here the man hesitated looking at the lion and turned around and kept on walking the lion grew desperate hello there shouted the lion don't turn your face please come here and hear my story the man stopped in his tracks and seemed to hesitate don't get scared pressed the lion oh kind sir i have never harmed a single human being how can you leave me here and turn away a cruel hunter will come and take me from my home the man felt sorry for the animal i will release you from the cage said the man once i do promise me that you will leave quickly i am slightly afraid that you will make a meal of me please do that i will be very grateful to you said the lion the man lifted the trap door the minute he was free the lion walked out of the cage he roared and then then he felt hungry when the lion looked at the man before him carefully the man decided to leave why are you in such a hurry oh man said the lion you have set me free and now it is your duty to feed me oh lion what does a poor man have that can feed a lion said the man looking at the yellow magnetic eyes of the lion his legs nearly giving way maybe i can eat you growled the lion and the way he said his shin shivers down the spine of the man that is not fair you begged me to release you you promised not to harm me i did nothing of the kind it is not fair to expect me to spare you wait a minute cried the poor man he had spotted a monkey listening to the banter maybe we should ask another's opinion the man was willing to do anything to buy time all right said the lion knowing well that most animals would agree to another animal and thus they recounted the whole story to the passing monkey the monkey listened with a frown i don't understand he said the lion was out and the man was in and the lion was out the man was in the man was in and the lion was out no 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 said the lion impatiently i was in and the man was out how could that be asked the monkey with a frown or said the lion you fool see for yourself and with that he stepped back into the cage the next instant the monkey pulled in the stout bolts and the trap door snapped shut run man run 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 man run said the monkey and the man ran for his life 
the monkey turned to the lion o king of this jungle is this how you reap repay one who saves your life is this how you repay one who saves your life the lion hung his head in shame i am going to open the door but trust me if you try to hurt anyone who helps you you will not be spared with that the monkey drew the bolt and smartly swung into a branch and disappeared moral of this story is be careful of who you choose to help thank you for listening we will meet with another story